In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cheap arcade spinner for use with MAME. Um, the code for this will be linked to uh, below in the video description, and I will also have a link there to the joystick library that we're using to provide the buttons. Um, the way this works is when you hook this up to your computer, it will be recognized as both a um, mouse, uh, which the rotary encoder will control, as well as a joystick, which we use to provide the buttons. Um, you can use the uh, mouse to provide the buttons, but I think you can only use uh, maybe up to five buttons on there, and I wanted a little more. So it'll actually be, de be detected as two devices in your computer, both a mouse and a uh, joystick. The joystick, um, actually, we're required to have one access in it, um, in the joystick library for, for it to even initialize. So there is a... Um, X axis in there, but it doesn't do anything. We just um, declare it and uh, center it um, and don't use it for anything else. Uh, you will need a few pieces of equipment to put this together. Um, a breadboard, an Arduino Micro, or any one of its clones, basically anything with the uh, 18 Mega 32U4 chip on it. Um, a rotary encoder, and uh, some momentary switch buttons. Now these rotary encoders, I got this one off of Amazon. It's a 600 um, position per rotation encoder. I think I paid about $18 for it. You can uh, use any two-phase rotary encoder uh, with the code I provide for this. Even these um, little two-phase ones that come with a lot of Arduino kits, um, they will work as well. Uh, the only difference is these only have about 20 to 30 positions per rotation uh, versus something like this which has um, 600. Now the way we're reading the um, phase transitions in the code that actually gives us uh, about four times the number of uh, positions so this one has would have uh, 2400 but it's actually way too many uh, for our purposes because the um, uh, pulling rate, uh, the mouse pulling rate is uh, limited to one, uh, one millisecond at the, uh, at the highest, um, so you can't even get, if you turn this whole thing faster uh, than one second, you can't even get all those changes um, up to the computer over the USB bus. Uh, so wait, way too many um, uh, positions for our needs, uh, and we'll, we'll cut that down a little bit in the code. Um, you can see the way I have these buttons wired. Uh, these are just four post momentary switch buttons and uh, we're running from the negative uh, power rail to one side of the button and the uh, other side of the button I have connected to the microcontroller pins. Um, uh, starting with button zero connected to uh, pin number four on the microcontroller and then going uh, pin four through nine uh, for button zero through button five. And that gives us our six buttons. And I also have uh, jumper wires running from the um, VCC pin on the chip to the positive on the power rail and the ground on the chip to the negative. Um, you can reverse uh, these buttons so that it goes from the positive to um, the button and to the one side of the button and uh, the other side of the button to the microcontroller pins, but you'll have to adapt the code to account for that. Um, the rotary encoder, we just got our positive and negative. as well as our two phases. On this one, the um, A phase is the green wire and the B phase is the white wire. And I have those going into pin number two and three on the microcontroller. Um, if you connect this all up and you notice that your mouse or the object uh, on the screen you're controlling with this is going the opposite direction of the way you're turning it, um, you can reverse uh, your A and B phase and that should fix it for you. Um, the way you set this up in MAME, which I'll show you in a, in a moment, is um, to uh, allow it to be assigned to the uh, x-axis of the mouse 
and then your buttons are just detected as regular uh, joystick or gamepad buttons. Okay, so we have Arkanoid running in MAME here, and you'll see under the input, I've just got uh, button 1 assigned to one of the buttons on there. Um, the analog dial by default is assigned uh, to the mouse x-axis. Um, and then I have another button set for uh, player one start and coin. Uh, you may have to adjust maim the analog controls a bit. Um, I just have the dial sensitivity sent to, set to 75 right now, um, but you can adjust that uh, as you see fit. Seems to per work relatively well for uh, something that costs under, um, oh, I don't know, maybe $30 at most, so not too bad.